मॉड्यूल 22, तवारिया सोतात्सु को एट्सु एंड रिंपा डिजाइन आई डॉक्टर रीता प्रताप फॉर्मर हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन जेपनीज पेंटिंग तवारिया सोतात्सु को एट्सु एंड रिंपा डिजाइन In the 16th century the turbulent conditions had led many artists to flee Kyoto for Nara and Sakai their return following Hideyoshi's stabilization and promotion of craft production in the city signaled the onset of an artistic revitalization of which ripple effects was felt throughout the country for over a century at a time when other cities were still recovering from decades of warfare kyoto was uniquely able to meet the demand for luxury goods kyoto's renaissance was not led by official painters of the kano and tosa lineages but rather by a coalition of artists who specialized in the production of articles such as fans lacquer textiles and ceramics that appealed to kyoto's affluent inhabitants these artists drew inspiration from the court tradition of poetry calligraphy and painting that had come to be identified as a part of shared legacy of all kyoto's residents ko etsu and sotatsu were pivotal figures in this process of cultural democratization they adopted the idioms employed by tosa artists and also drew inspiration from painting and calligraphy of the Heian period to which they had access through their religious affiliation and through their court patrons printed book design and calligraphy was the first area in which these two artists left their imprint koetsu is said to have provided the models for calligraphy and sotatsu and his studio the mica printed designs on the covers tawaria sotatsu's double page from the noho text mishinori before 1615 book ink and mica printed on color paper and at present in the new york public library is a good example the poetry scrolls on which koetsu and sotatsu collaborated during this period feature similar randomly printed overall patterns of flying cranes ivy leaves deer and silhouetted pines tawaria sotatsu died in 1643 the first great painter to impose his own personality upon the art of the 17th century was sotats very little is known about his career except that he was working in kyoto between 1610 and 1630 and came from a wealthy family of cloth merchants it is also said that he ran a fan painting shop and employed a number of assistants so tatsu began to sign his name after 1630 having the pride to do so as the recipient of the hokkyo rank in the same year he received a commission from ex emperor gomizuno for three pairs of screens to be painted with gold backgrounds one pair carried willow and plum trees so tatsu's work evolved through three major stages one as an artisan preparing 
gold and silver decorations on paper for calligraphy especially for fan paintings to be mounted on screens one of these bearing pines by the seashore and vestiria is dated to 1607 others have elegant birds flowers and animals second the yogan in kano style of great breadth and vigor strong color and liner designs apparently done with the sense that the kano style was specially suited for the traditional context third interpretations in the new technique of classical themes such as the genji monogatari stories on screens copies of scrolls of the travelers of priest saigyo and other subjects that fall into the middle ground somewhere between kano and tosa these were done on commissions so the subjects were in all likelihood specified so tatsu began his career as a fan painter in the tawaria shop between nijo and senjo avenues his designs were so famous that the name tawaria became synonymous with fine kyoto fans so tatsu had studied sheshu's satsubuku ink painting the fading of the color boundaries the blurred effect created when ink or dark color is added to still wet lighter color and allowed to puddle tara shikomi are so tatsu's inventions but certainly inspired by the hatsu boku tradition this inspiration is clearly visible in one of so tatsu's important monochrome painting a hanging scroll of paper representing the zen priest choka it belongs to edo period and at present in the cleveland museum of art here the zen priest choka is sitting in a tree the subject is derived from chinese painting familiar to the japanese from woodblock print compendiums and was used by such literary painters as kun kan but so tatsu transforms the original work which shows the whole tree and clearly delineates the figure of the monk into a daring asymmetrical composition he leaves most of the tree outside the picture and deliberately de-emphasizes the monk by using pale ink lines thus creating decorative composition while adhering to the hatsubuku style among sotatsu's most important works are sets of screens of the ever popular tale of genji now in tokyo and kyoto the wind and thunder god from a pair of two panel folding screens color gold leaf and ink on paper dated to 17th century and at present in kyoto japan the deity associated with thunder and wind discloses a different decorative approach from that of momoyama painters as itoku tohaku and sanraku so tatsu's work seems more audacious and severe with stronger emphasis upon a symmetry of composition and simplicity of silhouette and a greater variety of handling color and ink the court dancers the spectacular waves tossing in the bay of issi now in the freer gallery of art washington dc are his finest works in the western collection another painting is pine islands at 
Matsushima pair of 6 panel folding screens ink and color and gold on paper early 17th century and at present in the Freer Gallery of Art Washington DC this panoramic composition represents northern japan's most scenic spot long celebrated in poetry the arrangement of stylized rocks sandbars and pine covered islands all shown from varying aerial perspectives forms a continuous sweep across all 12 panels of the paired screen He also executed many album paintings and prints in which his astonishing inventiveness is given full reign. He also executed many album paintings and prints in which his astonishing inventiveness is given full reign. Perhaps the most important of Sotatsu's painting illustrates a detail from one pair of screens in the Sekaido collection Tokyo the screen depicts the so called navigation post seen from the tail of genji dated to early 17th century ink and color on paper in which the prince genji while traveling unexpectedly meets his former mistress lady akashi She is approaching in a boat Genji has got down from his carriage and stands waiting while his agitated followers wonder apprehensively what he will do when the lady steps ashore Screen paintings are the pair belonging to the Sekaido library representing two episodes from the tale of Genji Chapter 14 Channel Bios Mitsukushi pair of six folded screen ink color and gold on paper belongs to Edo period and at present in the Sekaido Library Tokyo Here the representational elements of each scene are present the Genji the curtained ox cart that was the vehicle of Heian nobility the two retinues and the boat in one scene and screen cart in the other that bear two of genji's lovers in his painting lotus and swimming birds it is also a hanging scroll ink on paper belonging to momoyama period dated to 17th century are so placed as to share the space not to divide it the forms are not self contained and permanent each commanding its sphere they depend on and interact with each other the use of watery ink in pooled tara shikomi especially on the leaves give a sense of expansion and as in the emotive cloud device creates an emotional quickening analogous to a blush or sound of breathing so tatsu also produced beautiful designs for koetsu's calligraphy paper in long hand scrolls fan shapes and square board shishiki he applied them in silver and gold by hand and by wood block impressions the two men worked in close collaboration this is proved by numerous scrolls and albums the earliest of them goes back to 1606 in which koetsu superb calligraphy is inscribed on sheets richly decorated with designs in gold and silver often prints which exactly correspond with Sotatsu's style the best of these collective works are the scrolls of flowers of the four seasons lotus flowers 
and deer achieved a harmonious synthesis of design, calligraphy and poetry. An example of fan painting by Konami Koetsu, Rabbit and the Moonlit Fall, Ink and Colors and Gold on Paper, Hata Kiyama Collection, Tokyo. This famous painting exemplifies the taste and extraordinary artistic sense of the Alp, artistic sense of the early Rinpa circles. Most startling is the telephoto lens depiction of just the edge of the moon in gold leaf across the top right of the fan in a composition that would have been unimaginable in any other country at the time. The white rabbit too is shown among flowering haggy brush clover in an unusual pose with his head turned towards the sky, looking as if it has just heard something and is on guard. The flat gold expanse of the moon is used in the picture as a backdrop for romantic poem originally composed by Fujiwara no Hideyoshi who died in 1240, which Koetsu has inscribed in flowering jet black characters. The words of the poem echo the evocative painted scene and describes how the tears shed by a lady for her loved one soak into the sleeves of her kimono and softly reflect the full moon of the fall. Sotatsu painted hand scrolls with designs to illustrate the lyrical content of poems that were written on them by Koetsu in his elegant and graceful calligraphy. Apart from his peerless writing hand, Koetsu also excelled in lacquer design, landscape gardening, pottery and raku style pottery, all arts that revolved around the word of tea aesthetics. For a painting, flowers and grasses of the four seasons, calligraphy by Koetsu and painting by Sotatsu. It is a detail of a hand scroll belonging to Momoyama period, early 17th century. Here, Sotatsu has painted flowers and grasses of the four seasons in sequence with a brush dipped alternatively in gold and silver. The ancient Chinese method of boneless painting without ink outlines was given a new sense of liveliness by Sotatsu who combined it with a pooling device called Tara Shikomi. This landscape method of dropping ink or color pigment onto still wet areas of the paper or silk may well have been invented by Sotatsu. Here the silver flowers and golden leaves appear in different intensities, seeming to emerge from dense mist. Whereas Koetsu's calligraphy equally reflects classical preferences, even on relatively absorbent paper, he fully paints every stroke and dot. The incursion of cursive Chinese characters among the kana syllabi echoes the effect of leaves and flowers among stems. Koetsu alternates between thick and thin, large and small strokes but the wrist pressure is steady, changing with the column rather than within single letter or word configurations. While Sotatsu sealed the heights of artistic creation, his disciples 
continued even after his death apparently to produce fans decorated screens and monochrome paintings all based on the master's models these works often bear the seal iron probably one of sotatsu's presidonants and even the signature sotatsu which formed as it were trademarks of his studio but which naturally complicate the critics work of appraisal and attribution his outstanding disciple seems to have been so setsu his brother or son who succeeded him as head of the tawarya and poetic compositions of flowers and plants but they lack the structural power of sotatsu's work whereas koetsu's calligraphy equally reflects classical preferences even on relatively absorbent paper he fully controls every stroke or dot the inculcation of cursive chinese characters among the kana syllabi echoes the effect of leaves and flowers among stems koetsu alternates between thick and thin large and small strokes but the wrist pressure is steady changing with the column rather than within single letter or word configurations honami koetsu 1558 to 1637 koetsu belonged to a family of sword konaishers a hereditary profession that authenticated and repaired swords his familiarity with the techniques of repairing lacquer metal and mother of pearl all of which were employed on sword scabbards and hilts may have led him to venture into the realm of lacquer design to which he brought daring new shapes materials and pictorial motifs his technical innovations were applied primarily to writing boxes treasured emblems of personal cultivation because they held the implements for painting and calligraphy in 1615 togo gawa liyasu perhaps as a gesture of appeasement toward the masichu granted koetsu a large tract of land in taka gamain northeast of kyoto there koetsu established a colony of craftsmen of the nichiren buddhist school and inspired and directed the production of artworks of unparalleled quality and diversity koetsu had been educated in the hian oriented courtly arts and in the early 14th century shorinin style of royal calligraphy he also studied the calligraphy style of the 4th century chinese aristocratic wang chi was just as one of the finest calligraphers of his day he brought his genius to bear on lacquer painting gardens poetry tea and ceramics no form of art failed to benefit him from his influence he dazzled kyoto society by publishing the 10th century tale of issi and the 12th century kojoki inscribed in his own elegant calligraphy on specially produced paper decorated with his own designs based on hian ideals he also published song books from the no theater which focused cultural attention on the past koetsu's colony 
included not only artists but also paper makers lacquers and brush makers these craftsmen inspired by koetsu's guiding spirit collaborated with the artists and with each other to produce works of a standard unmatched since Xi'an times. A fine example is the writing box called Boat Bridge, which contains inkstone, ink and brush belonging to 17th century and at present in the collection of National Museum, Tokyo. Koitsu added the common base metal lead to gold and silver, a striking innovation laying it across the convex top and the sides in the form of a bridge, floating on gold lacquer, supporting boats in low relief. Although the box is nearly square, the decoration is entirely asymmetrical. Three boats bob up and down out of phase. The tiny raised line waves up in yet another rhythm and the bridge which gives the box its name. Balance is restored by Koetsu's inscription of a waka poem applied in high relief in silver over the whole scene. Known as a man of tea, Koetsu made many tea bowls in Fujisan, he created the most superb Japanese Raku tea bowls of all time. Raku stoneware, Japan, Momoyama, Edo period and at present in the Freer Gallery of Art, Synthesonian Institution, Washington DC. This bowl has a taut, straight sides tapering slightly towards the bottom. The reddish body is covered entirely in a blackish matte slip with opaque white glaze over upper half, leaving the darker glaze for the bottom. The effect produced by firing is that of gently falling snow. The vigor and grandeur of Mount Fuji are suggested. Koetsu was a very important calligrapher, not in the Chinese but in the Japanese semi-cursive Goyoshu style. His calligraphy reflects classical preferences, even on relatively absorbent paper. He fully controls every stroke and dot. His calligraphy is more stately than Hian prototypes, carrying traces of the China-inspired symmetry of the Muromachi period and producing a synthesis of the two styles. He collaborated with Sotatsu on several scrolls of poems, writing the text over under decoration by Sotatsu, one large scroll bearing the signature of Koetsu and the seal of Sotatsu are herds of deer and poems from one of the great imperially commissioned poetry anthologies. The new anthology of ancient and modern verse, Shin Kokinshu, completed in 1205 or 1206. Deer scroll painting by Tawarya Sotetsu, calligraphy by Honami Koetsu. It is a section of a hand scroll, gold and silver pigment and ink on paper belonging to Japan Edo period and at present in the Seattle Art Museum. In this combination of freely executed semi-cursive calligraphy with informal gold and silver representation of deer. The compositional device of allowing the herd of deer to run up and off the paper with 
only the head and feet of one deer visible at the top of the scroll is comparable with the barely visible tree in the monochrome representation of the priest choka rinpa design the principles by which rinpa school of decorators is identified was set by sotatsu it was the work of sotatsu and koetsu that laid the foundation for a heterogeneous group of artists that came to be known as rinpa after ogata koren a later follower the name was formed by combining the rin of koren and pa meaning faction of school rinpa was a loose collation of artists who identified with each other on the basis of self chosen artists orientation rinpa artists freely adopted and reinterpreted the themes and styles of the predecessors for use in various media fan screen and album paintings of traditional literary and natural subjects done in strong colors with the japanese feel for liner patterns and compositions as these artists often had